Welcome to my channel. What a lovely day it is today. Which is amazing because it's been raining all the time. Anyway, we're uh, doing the exhaust today. As you can hear, it's blowing. It's got some sort of blow here. I did check it and it's literally pouring out exhaust fumes straight out of here. So, basically, bought a new one for the sake of 40 50 quid. So, we shove that on today. I'll show you how to do that. Um, the window. It's still smashed, which is bloody annoying. Long story short is I've been to so many breakers and they ain't got these three doors. These three door 308s are so rare that it's just freaking harder to find bits. It's easier to find bits on my bloody Subaru than it is on this freaking car. So I bought one for 50 quid and guess what? The bloody window got smashed at Nicoria. Apparently. Apparently five days later so they tell me so now I've got to go on a hunt for another one they're about 150 quid brand new from like uh, windscreen companies I ain't paying that for a bloody window so I need to try and find another solution another place keep on searching gave it a bit of a clean and tidy up so what I'm gonna do now is sort out this exhaust blow because as you can hear it is literally well actually I'll do it now just to show you is blowing like a trooper. Listen to this. Oh, it's just a 1.6. So, we'll do that. So, let's just move all this out of the way. And it's whack it on the old ramp. Do that now. Let's have a listen to this blow. As you can see, that's the exhaust. Feel there, there's proper blowing. Feel that engine running like a sack of crap. Yeah. Watch this though. Alright, let's turn it off. Let it cool down. And we get under there. Undo the clamp there. And there's another clamp under there, so let's see how rusted this is going to be. Oh, one right at the back. Oh my god! Right, the other clamp. I don't know if you guys can see. Right at the back of here. There you go. You see where my hand is? There's the other clamp. So I've got to undo that one there. Slide that through and shove the exhaust in. And then you'll be able to see the split in a minute on this, which is around there somewhere. Right, I'll crack on with that now. Right, that's off now. So now I've got to undo that one right at the bloody back that I just showed you. And hopefully it'll come off. Let's do that now. Let's put it by hand now. Yes. Well, I'll take this whole bracket off because I've got new ones with the kit. So let's take these off. Yeah. 
cut by doing it one end. Maybe it doesn't want to come off, does it? That's alright, because I'm using the, the nut, well actually sorry, not the nut, the bolt, to weak to make it move around. So then it'll make the exhaust come off. I'm using it as like a lever. Because what we want to do is keep freeing up this bracket a bit. Right, there you go, that's off. Do is push down on that to separate it a bit. Yeah. That one's off. Give the exhaust a bit of a jiggle and wiggle and whatever else. I hate these brackets. What we have to do is put something in that, like a bar, separate that to knock that off. Sometimes you can do that and push it. So I'm going to do that now. Come on. Good sound. What a freaking nightmare. Right guys, as you can see, it's out. Sorry to see where it's split. So obviously that's the old one, so we match it with the new one, which is in line. We did say it should fit. That's keeping going back and forward because they weren't too short. But as you can see, that's going around like that. That's going around like that. The flex is a lot smaller, which is in a way it's better because it won't snap. Because these longer ones they always snap. And this bit's not really in line as much with that one, but that shouldn't be a problem. There. So let's fingers crossed it'll fit nicely and it'll stop blowing on the bloody car. Right, so I'll put it on now. Got some better brackets as well because these are a bloody nightmare because once you try and get them on, they're so hard to get on, they are a pain in the ass. But at least with these, you can tighten up one end and tighten up the other end, and then uh, it fits nice and snug. So I'll do that now. I've also got, where is it gone? Sealed joint, so I've gone and bought this as well. Shove that on that end, shove that on that end, and then we'll put it all together, and where we go. Put it all in this, and on the other side. Now, let's try and get this in.
Side. Let's uh, tackle that bit now, pull it in there, tighten it up, and then away we go. Right up there. Join it on, put that bracket on, and then we're done. That one's on, that was so bloody fiddly to get on. That one right up behind there, look, as you can see there's hardly any room at all. And now that one's on, so let's do the first start up, let's see if it's sorted out the blowing, fingers crossed it's all good. Running nice and quiet now, no bows, no nothing. I have been looking around and I have to spot something. These new cable tie on there. MO2 failure. Tyre's good. Guys, now the exhaust is all done. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you soon. See you later.